everybody, again, we should stop meeting like this. And it's another episode of Jurassic News. So recently, some behind the scenes footage has been posted on the Universal Twitter page, which teases so much information that I, I just have to show you my reaction to it first. So before we go into detail and just break apart all of this footage, let's react to it. Do you remember the first time you saw a dinosaur? For kids who grow up loving dinosaurs, so the was that the lock would have stayed? Are really the vehicle for them to see their dreams realized. And what is that? that there? That's awesome. It's an animatronic. Is what that is. We've always been suspenseful and exciting. We're telling the next chapter. I can't wait. Tell it. Tell it all. I love it. Yeah, we've seen that helicopter. He takes dinosaurs and takes Jurassic. <gasps> Dead and Kylosaur. Oh, that's the lava, so it falls down. That's a baryonic scene. We're literally blowing up the island. Ah, so Isla Nublar's gonna be gone now. <laughs> okay. In this movie, we have a new director, Juan Antonio Bayona. Ooh. playing with suspense. I like That was that dinosaur in the background. Everyone thought it was like, oh, that's a new iraptor. But it, it, I don't know what that is. So that, this is the Lockwood estate. when it comes to frightening. Oh, that's a baryonyx. Oh, it is like a sewer system! It's not a T-Rex. Oh, yes! That's awesome! And they're flipping out and killing people. Yes! That's what we're waiting for. That the story be balanced on the characters. Miniatures? Some of oh, okay. whom we know, and some of whom we're just meeting. Jeff Goldblum, not gonna lie, that's pretty awesome. Oh, oh, there he is! About dinosaurs again? <laughs> oh, Carnotaurus! More dinosaurs than you've ever seen before. That's a Sukumima said. Blue and animatronic. Who looks like he's been sedated? Or oh, she, movie, sorry. We are dealing with real animatronic dinosaurs. It looks like a real dinosaur. I couldn't. Help These look really out. good. So, oh, so glad animatronics the are back. Of making a sequel is finding the right balance between what people are expecting. I hope. Oh, that's an explorer. I recognize that as an explorer um, side mirror. Oh, so he hunts down blue in the jungle next to the explorer. That's how it comes into it. He comes across the explorer and then he meets blue. Whoa. Some gyrosphere event we're going to get. This movie is different. It's going to be intense and pretty spectacular. Oh, man. So it looks like the Indoraptor is going to be with Lockwood. Like nothing you've ever seen before. Yeah, man, it's Jurassic. No, go away for it. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Wow, I'm. That might as well just be the trailer. That was so much. Oh, and then then this person just added on the little bit of run at the end. Oh man. So what do we got like? So Carnotaurus is basically confirmed because um, we saw a whole animatronic head. Unless it's Carnoraptor, but I really doubt it's, it's Carnoraptor from Jurassic World, the game. Jeff Goldblum's back. Um, and I mean, we kind of speculated as to that he was going to have like a very small role. And this looks like maybe he's giving a testimony to the events or maybe... Because I think Claire said in an interview that she was going to be heading a, um, a rescue mission for the dinosaurs on the island. And this could be the meeting for that possibly or what is going to happen. Uh, to the island because they know a volcanic eruption is happening and this is a board probably uh, saying do we go rescue the dinosaurs or what and I think Jeff Goldblum's gonna put his two cents in but I don't think he's gonna be going to the island I think this is probably all we're gonna get from him a little just like a little brief cameo but we got such a good look at that baryonyx that looked so good oh oh I'm excited I'm really excited but one thing that hasn't really been teased is the um, is the Mosasaur. I mean, you got a little bit of like the gyrosphere falling into the water, and that might have something to do with the uh, the Mosasaur. But I really doubt it. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna like make this like kind of a longer video, compile my thoughts, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Oh, so where do we even begin, eh? Well, how about the start? So it appears that a volcano has already erupted even before the movie has started. Bryce said this on an interview on The Ellen Show, I think it was. There is an extinction level event happening on the island and 
our movie begins. As well as confirming that she's gonna head an expedition to try and rescue the dinosaurs. And if that's the case, then this must be their uh, rescue team that you can see right here. And also explains why in this shot, you can see what seems to be the same vehicle on the island, but dinosaurs already burnt like the ankylosaur. So we've seen Justice Smith in a few of the other teasers, but this is the first time that we're seeing Daniela Pineda. Hope I'm saying your name right there. <laughs> and they seem to be part of the rescue team. And thus craziness ensues, they try to rescue the dinosaurs while things blow up all around them. And what's even funnier actually, is the scene with the baryonyx. I mentioned in the previous video that it was lit very like alien and it seemed to have a lot of those tropes with it. And in the footage you can see almost like a radar system showing where it is, which is exactly what they did in the first alien film. Oh god, the similarities. But at least we did get a good look at that big gaping maw. But what's even weirder is that Justice Smith's character asks if it's a T-Rex. So either this takes place before the T-Rex is captured, or there's another T-Rex on the island. That or he just maybe doesn't know anything about what's going on or what dinosaurs were on the island. That's also a very good possibility. And just like I said in the uh, reaction, it seems like Jeff Goldblum is only going to play a minor part in this movie. Just as giving evidence in a court after the explosion. This is probably going to play at the start of the movie with the Volcano being the inciting incident, putting into question the survival or existence of the island. And this is where they have a big board meeting and go, should we go there? Should we save the dinosaurs? And then Jeff Goldman's like, nah, f but what's even stranger is that there's a Carnotaurus animatronic. The size of the Carnotaurus head seems to be a little bit too small. And if you compare it to the Velociraptor blue head, it even seems like it might be a little bit smaller. So is it possible, and hear me out on this, that this isn't a Carnotaurus and is more likely to be a Carnoraptor? We might actually be getting a dinosaur from Jurassic World the game in a legit movie, which may even be why in the game, it's a really good dinosaur, even though it's just a rare. And if this is a Carnoraptor, where the hell did it come from? And this brings me on to Lockwood. It's almost as if this movie's gonna be split up into two main locations. The island where they're gonna try to rescue the dinosaurs and the volcano's gonna erupt, and then Lockwood's estate, where Dr. Wu has been continuing his research on the Indoraptor and possibly even the Carnoraptor as well. We do get a brief glimpse of the jaws of what we can only presume is the Indoraptor. It can't be Indominus because the head's just too small. But it sports the iconic Indominus Rex teeth, so it must be a relation, and the only one we know of at the moment is Indoraptor. So is it possible that Lockwood's estate is a bit like Resident Evil? Above the surface is just what seems to be a lovely mansion, but below it is a mad lab where Dr. Wu has been making all these weird hybrids like Carnoraptor and Indoraptor. But I mean, just look at him, he wouldn't do anything like that, he's a sweet old man. Things to note are the Amber Cane, which is a nice touch because he's supposed to be John Hammond's former business partner. And the Alan Grant Neckerchief. So could this be hinting towards an Alan Grant appearance? Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. And also, let's not forget the reason why there is even a Jurassic Explorer in the first place. It seems like as soon as Owen has gotten to the island, he's went in search of Blue, near the wreckage of that 04 Ford Explorer. Blue jumping on top of it to say, Hello! And is it just me, or does this shot seem very similar of The Lost World, when Dita Stark was getting chased by the Gumpies? And it would appear at some point... Lockwood's estate uh, kind of gets overrun by the Indoraptor, maybe even the Carnoraptor. And maybe some of the executives will uh, meet the chopping board, as you can see in this shot right here. Seeming to be some sort of elevator that opens and the Indoraptor is just waiting for them on the other side. Oh, you thought the Velociraptor's opening doors was clever? Fallen Kingdom features an Indoraptor that can open elevator doors! <laughs> So guys, let me know what your thoughts are on this behind the scenes. And are you excited for the trailer that's going to be coming tomorrow? It's going to be nuts. As far as this little behind the scenes segment goes, I'm filled with nothing but excitement for this. Everything they've shown looks amazing so far. And I really can't wait to see what direction they take the Jurassic World franchise in. 
One thing that's really impressed me is the amount of effort they've put in just to promote the trailer. So I've got really high hopes for the movie and of course any tie-in toy line or even games like Jurassic World Evolution. The only thing I'm a bit worried about is the dead silence between now and when the movie comes out because that's like six months of waiting. So hopefully they've got something planned and if it's anything like this promotional week has been, it's gonna be something special. So guys, that's gonna have to wrap this video. If you enjoyed it, Leave a like, and of course, when more news comes out, and tomorrow I'll be doing a reaction to the trailer and probably a breakdown just like I've done with this one. I'll see you later. Bye bye. And the moment you've all been waiting for, Eeyore is confirmed for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Ah!